great to be back at the freight. I'm sure you all feel the same way.
Her body lies a mood drain and her spirit has gone to God. Please don't bury me on the lawn prairie. Please don't bury me on the lawn prairie. You can bury me in the east, you can bury me in the west. Please don't bury me on the lawn prairie. Thank you. Thank you and welcome. Welcome to the Berkeley Old Time Music Festival coming streaming and live this year. It's great and a big thanks to everyone who organized this event because it took a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of energy and we're very grateful. <laughs> Well, um, a feller in that first song up on the mountain in Virginia was in a pretty bad way. And the second song, maybe even worse, camped out on the river. Well, maybe it's the same guy. I don't know, but first he's drunk and bamboozled. I kind of like that. Nobody talks like that anymore. Yeah, drunk and bamboozled. Attorneys at law. <laughs> so he's up on the, there on the river, and, and, and there's only, he's got no father or mother, only Nell and me. Who, who's Nell? It, maybe it's his dog. What do you think? No, I think Nell, I think it's his horse. As in woe Nelly? Well, no, because that Nelly was a Jeep, I believe. Right. I'm out here on the river. I'm all alone with no father and mother. All I've got is my gun and some bullets and two old snicker bars and, and uh, my Jeep. <laughs> but maybe I'll never understand the song, but, you know, we get to sing Parary like the Carter family did, <laughs> and that's, that makes the song really worth singing. If we spoke like that, people would think we're odd or more odd than they think anyway. But when you sing it, well, it's artistic license, right? I, pa I failed my test three times before I got my artistic license. I think we'd better do another song. Yeah, let's do another song. This next song was beautifully sung by Molly O'Day, who's one of my favorites of the old singers, and her partner, Lynn Davis. It's called Too Late, Too Late. I met those dark eyes on the street I bowed my head and I could not speak For there was another by your side Thank you. 
next song is put together um, it's well composed it, it might have been composed by Arthur Smith he was born in the late 19th century um, when flowery language was in bloom and it's, it's got a lot of a lot of flowery language in it um, it's called the Dew false heart <laughs> stay in the good old time key of B flat for another one here. It's good for our voices. C's too high. This uh, next song is called Miner's Lullaby and uh, Bruce Phillips made the words 
and he asked Jody and I to make a melody for it, and we did. Yeah, we did, and, and we recorded it um, well, well over 20 years ago, and in the time since then, a whole lot of people have sung it and recorded it and broadcasted it, and they all think we're singing the melody we composed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but the trick is that that in our style of duet singing, Jody and I often switch melody and harmony in the middle of the same phrase. So, n needless to say, it confuses people. <laughs> and that's all right. Um, <laughs> Why should we be the only people who are confused? I mean, we, we, we do our part. One thing we're currently confused about is COVID safety. Um, the science keeps changing as more things are learned, and, and we're being very cautious, and we're very, very glad to see you all here and, and that you've come out. And if you approach us and we run away, we're not unfriendly. We're just being... Um, Scared. <laughs> right. So, um, Miner's Lullaby, it, it, um, it takes place in Park City, Utah. Park City nowadays is a ski resort. It's in an outdoor sports adventure center in the summer. But it was built on silver mining. And in the early days, the miners had a very dangerous job and the likelihood of being trapped in the mine and dying there was high. And they, they developed a way of dealing with it. So Utah Phillips, who composed the words to the song, he was visiting Park City and being, what would I call him? He's a, he was an amateur social anthropologist or an historian. He went to find, you know, to explore the, the dark secret underbelly of every place that he visits, which is the garbage dump. And he went to the dump in Park City and he found a small metal container. And nobody in the town would tell him what it was. It was a morphine tin, and that was the miner's secret. They were all Catholics and suicide is a mortal sin. They so they didn't quiet. want to talk about it. They kept it a secret. He built the song around the minor lullaby, and we made the melody. Amen. 
of sad songs so now it's time to for some happiness and we'll start our upward trajectory with a song and a tune both composed by Jody yeah on the, uh, let's, let's tune up first if, if you just Pretty good. Um, the song is called Chumstick Beans, and it um, celebrates the life of some very good friends of ours who live in the Chumstick Valley of Washington State, east of the Cascades. And, uh, and the tune, the tune is called I Don't Know the Muffin Man. <laughs> it's, uh, my cousin Jay Feldman gave it that name. It's got a little line in it that sounds like so um, he, he suggested that I, I took to that title. You, there's a, a few references in the song that you, you may not um, get right away, but I'll tell you one. Uh, have you ever tried to play basketball in three foot drifts of snow? Try dribbling in, in that. And it's really chaotic and fun. And they call that a lasket ball. All right. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Chumstick Beans, and uh, I don't know the Muffin Man, and let's hope that this button doesn't get caught between these strings, as happened before. Suspenseful. <laughs> Chumstick Beans. I put them on my bar, mash them in the skillet, add a little oil, put them in the with the garden greens. Nothing in the world beats chumstick beans. Chumstick train in the middle of the night, rumbles up the creek when the moon is bright, shakes your bed. Wakes you from your dreams, or wakes you to a belly full of chumstick beans. Chumstick beans, they're all right. Eat them by the creek when the sun shines bright. Food from the table of kings and queens never was better than chumstick beans. Chumstick cat on a ringtail prowl under the moon with a kitty puss growl. Double stop fiddle and a blue guitar. Cascade Mountain shooting star. Chumstick pigs, they're all right. Get them by the gallon if the sun shines bright. Won't be back till the middle of the week. Good times on Chumstick Creek. Three 
foot snow There ain't no telling where the ball will go A last ball, sink or slide Chumstick kitchen right inside And chumstick bathtub up in the air Chumstick cellar under the stairs Chumstick castle down by the creek <coughs> Beans that can't be big Chumstick beans, it's all right Eat them by the barrel when the sun shines bright Eat them in your old age, eat them in your teens Nothing in the world beats chumstick beans Eat them in your PJs, eat them in your jeans Nothing in the world beats jumpstick band I've made up songs and tunes while walking. The rhythm of my feet um, creates um, musical ideas, and I've made up a lot just sitting with an instrument in my lap. And I've dreamed songs, you know, while asleep. And, and I, I wake up and I remember enough to put it together. But I have never hallucinated a song. And that's how this next one came into being. It's, um, this was particular hallucination was again by Utah Phillips. Yeah, he, he was driving along the Great River Road along the Mississippi and he, he said a song came on the radio that really captivated him. And it was about the, the, the system of taking homeless kids from the eastern cities and moving them to Western farming families by railroad, and that was called the orphan train. So he's driving along and he hears this song on the radio about the orphan train, and it, it's by Lulabelle and Scotty, and it's a great song. And then he remembered he didn't have, his car didn't have a radio. <laughs> <laughs> Orphan train. Once I had a darling mother, though I can't recall her name. I had a baby brother who I'll never see again. For the children's home is sending us out on the orphan train to try to find someone to take us in. Take us in, we have rode the orphan train. Take us in, we need a home, we need a name. Take us in, oh, won't you be our kin? We are looking for someone to take us in. I have stolen from the poor box and I beg the city streets. Swamp the bars and pool rooms for a little bite to eat. In my daddy's old gray jacket and these rags upon my feet I've been looking for someone to 
take me in Take us in, we have brought the orphan train Take us in, we need a home, we need a name Take us in, oh won't you be our kin We are looking for someone, take us in trying to figure out who Nail is. Maybe it's his grandmother. Maybe Nail is a bear. This is way out on Bear Creek. Ooh. A red speckled peck on a red speckled carpet. Ooh. Dangerous. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Jesse 
again. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a really beautiful sight to see everyone with a mask on. God, I love it. Properly worn. I want to take a picture of you and send it home. <laughs> we're, we're not known for sweating the details at home, you know. And, and, uh, really would be nice. <laughs> it takes courage to get on stage, but it takes a little more courage to take a break right now in Louisiana. Uh, this song, we, we have a drinking culture at home. I don't know if you knew that. And uh, this song is about that. It's about uh, the morning after. This is a song about a hangover cure, and it's called La Danse à Limonade, the lemonade song. Cousin, mon cham cousin, mais j'aime mieux la cuisine. Yeah. Samedi au soir, mon j'ai couru au bas, je m'ai saoulé comme un gros cochon. Dimanche matin, je tue mon yard malade. Passez mon le verre à l'émonade. Samedi au soir, il a couru au bal, il s'est saoulé comme un gros cochon. Dimanche matin, il est tout mon yard malade. Passez-lui le verre à l'émonade. You're not singing. de la bière et je mange des tartes tout ça ne coûte pas rien samedi au soir moi j'ai couru au bas je m'ai saoulé comme un gros cochon 
dimanche matin, tu m'en y as malade. Passez mon le verre à limonade. tickled to be here. We're just going to play some of them old tunes that I learned. I've been playing the fiddle 48 years, and uh, most of the tunes I learned to play a long time ago was local tunes from all the local fiddlers that was around in that area at that time, which all of them are, are gone maybe. I guess I'm the old guy now. But anyway, uh, it's just, uh, just tunes that all of those guys played. Uh, so we're just going to play you some of them tunes. Little tune called Cyro. all kind of circumstances to happen when we started to come out here. We just had an awful time of trying to get situated to come. <laughs> yeah. uh, go ahead. I've been talking a little bit there about David. <laughs> um, so we, I, is this mic on? Um, I guess it was Monday evening about 6 o'clock and I was just getting ready to leave the radio station for work and telephone rings and my husband calls and he says, well, I'm in the hospital having a heart attack. <laughs> and my heart stopped, and I thought, oh, gosh. So I got myself together, rushed down to Mount Airy, and um, sure enough, he was. And I took him down to Winston-Salem, 
And I kept thinking, okay, this is going to be all right. We got to go to Berkeley. We can't not be here. We can't disappoint Richard and Barbara. And um, so finally I called them and I told them what was going on. And David did everything he could in his power to die, but he's okay. And he is at home resting. Um, yeah, it was a yeah. pretty harrowing. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> A little bit of time, but then the doctors and the nurses said he was going to be okay, and he told me I ought to be out here. And so, um, so we we rustled up uh, this fellow right here. We'd never met him, and uh, never played no tunes with him. But uh, we appreciate him uh, filling in for us. That's, uh, thank you, Eric. My Eric Thompson. <laughs> My pleasure. So we're going to do another old tune here that was uh, one of the local Mount Area tunes, I reckon. A little bit of. It's got a couple of names, Katie Clyde or K K Kitty Klein or what you'd want to call it, but that's what we're going to do. slow tunes once in a while. Ivy always wants us to play this tune here. So. This is a great old tune. It's called A Daisy A Day. This thing is a bumping and I'm making more racket than I could do with a hammer. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have to tell you all this. Me and Barbara was trying to get ready to come up here and we about got locked up. We uh, <laughs> was trying to get ready and pack and remember everything that we was going to bring. And she didn't have time to fix supper, so we was going to run over to one of the local drive-ins there and get us a, a sandwich or something, and we did. Went on over to the, to the Odell's Sandwich Shop is the name of the place, and we both like barbecue, so we got us a barbecue sandwich, and it's really good barbecue. And we was there eating, and... We, instead of using napkins, we liked it so good, we was just licking the juice off one another's lips, you know. This, <laughs> I mean, you know, we didn't think much about it, but there was a lady, you know, in the car beside of us there. We didn't realize that she had some small kids in the car. She called the police. <laughs> so, you know, we didn't know anything about it, and all of a sudden the police car rolled in there, and that fella jumped out and come up to the 
to the window, and of course the window was down. We had the tray sitting there in it, you know. He will not know what was going on, and he told us, you know, somebody did, reported us are doing all kind of stuff. And I said, well, we, we just was eating a barbecue sandwich, and I said, we just, you know, they really good. I said, we just kind of licking the juice off one another's lips. And, and uh, I mean, you know, we'd have been in a heap of trouble. He said, yeah, you know, I've had those barbecue sandwiches, and they really are good, ain't they? <laughs> so he kind of smoothed it over that lady, so we... We, well, and this, you know, this all started back in 1975, Barbara said. 76. She, 76. Yeah, she said she saw this uh, boy with a fiddle in his hand, and the trouble started right there. Yeah. They've been playing music together ever since. All right. <laughs> some people getting up trying to leave I think they've got the doors locked so nobody can't leave <laughs> well, what else Abby, you want to do oh you want to play a little bit of that fortune yeah we can oh, yeah. Up old we run through a few tunes uh, earlier but we ain't played none we practiced on so. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do that fortune or the other fortune well which one you want to do Otis first you want to do stupid 
or we can do the regular four chicken. All right. Want to. Okay. So down where we are from, you know, it doesn't. You might just be ten miles away from some place or across the state line, which is just ten miles too. Um, and tunes are totally different. Yeah. All right, a little bit of the, I guess the North Carolina. The Ernest East or the Surrey County Fortune. Or <laughs> Like I say, all these are just old tunes that I learned a long, long time ago from all them old fiddlers. They was, most of them around, they was really free with their music. They, uh, they didn't just sit you down in front of them and, and show you the tune. You just, they just sat down and you sat down in front of them and they played the tune. And if you didn't catch it this time, you, you caught most of it, I guess, one time or the other. You know, you'd go back, but, but it's, uh, they was really special people. Most of them was it, uh, you know. It, it's just great memories in my mind, you know, of all those people that I did learn from. Yeah. What else, Barbara? There's some of them tunes. Oh yeah, the Merry Girl. Yeah, yeah. That we did kind of practice that one, didn't we? <laughs> uh, oh yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll play this tune. That it, uh, it was one of one of the, the Tommy Gerald. Is where I picked the tune up from, and I'm sure everybody else plays it, you know. But, uh, and I hate we ain't got no singers here tonight. Ivy usually sings with David, and Marcia, our daughter, usually sings with us. And so, of course, they, and if I sang it, you'd all have to leave, I guess. Remember the doors are locked. <laughs> yeah. The Merry Girl.
Thank you, thank you. Somebody was asking me about my fiddle earlier, and I said I'd had it so long I couldn't remember anything much about it. it I, I guess I've, I've been playing this fiddle probably at least 40 years, I guess. I've had more fiddles than this, but when I go off away from my house, it's the one I always take. Uh, it ain't the prettiest one, and it ain't the best sounding one, but it's the loudest one I've got. <laughs> Play another slow tune, yeah. a little bit of Wednesday Night Walk. Yeah. When I first when I first started playing, after we got to after a year or so, we played for a lot of square dances. All of the the fire departments and rescue squads they had benefits on Saturday night to help get money to pay for the the fire trucks and the ambulances and stuff. And uh, they always, you know, all of them around there, they was quite a few. And we started playing for them, and somebody would holler, play a slow tune, play a slow tune. And it would just make me so mad, I just couldn't hardly stand it, you know, because I, I didn't want to play slow tunes, I wanted to play fast tunes. But after a year or two of that, uh, when you play for four hours, you know, and that's what the dances was from eight till midnight, you know, uh, you hoping that somebody would holler, play a slow tune. <laughs> so I did learn a, quite, a, quite a few tunes over the years. This is a Wednesday Night Waltz.
Lord. You heard it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. We sure are happy to be here, and many, many thanks to Susie Thompson and all the folks who put this fine festival together. Uh, what a great thing. And since uh, we know that none of you would be here if you weren't fans of old-time music, I want to uh, make a shameless plug for our great little radio station in Mount Airy, North Carolina, WPAQ. Yeah. If you, if you don't know about PAQ, you ought to. It's been on the air since 1948 with the promise to preserve and promote traditional music, and it certainly kept true to it to this very day. And um, I got a show on there Saturday afternoons at 2 o'clock, and we're making recordings here at the Berkeley Old Time Music Convention. So you ought to tune in to PAQ all the time. Just find it on your computer and break off the dial or whatever you do on your computer since you can't probably pull it in with an antenna out here. But... Um, Anyway, hopefully we'll have some great highlights from the convention and uh, hope this keeps going on for many, many years to come. What do you want to play? Well, I'm going to play. Uh, I had something on my mind before you went to talking. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do you want to play the national anthem yet, or you want to hold the hug? We can. Okay, we'll uh, yeah, we can play a little bit of Susan Anagale. Let's play Susan Anagale. Yeah. All right. Uh, this tune got two or three names. They call it Fly Around. And <coughs> Western Country. Western Country. But when I learned it, uh, the people I learned it from lived up on top of the mountain from where I live, which was about six or seven miles. We live uh, We live in, in the, on the Virginia side, just barely across the line. We lived right under the mountain, under the parkway. The Blue Ridge Parkway, and uh, I could get to all of these people's houses, you know, just go up Squirrel Spur, was the name of the little road that went up. Uh, probably within 20 minutes, I could get to all of these fiddlers that uh, that that lived there that 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 I was learning from. Just real easy, but when I learned this tune, they called it uh, Susan Anna Gale, so that's what I still call it. So. Thank you. 
we're going to play a little bit of Rockingham Cindy. I learned to play this tune off of Tommy Jarrell, and a whole lot of other people learned to play it, but I'd get with different people playing, and, and it, just a little bit of a timing thing in that one part of it there, and the guitar players would either be in the front of you or behind you or somewhere they wouldn't that it'd be a beat too much or, or not enough beats sometimes. And I kind of quit playing it for a long time, but then I, it was such a good tune, I got started back of playing it. So, And this is one we did practice, and I hope we don't wreck it. Or, that was what Tommy said. Tommy said, uh, I used to go there in the evenings after I'd get in from work. I never did go there on the weekends because there was so many people always there. And he called them hippies, but uh, they was just people to me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I, yeah, I don't think it would be. But anyway, uh, I would go, you know, in the evenings late after I'd get in from work, and and he would learn me some of them old tunes, and he'd just sit and play, and and he he would play Rockingham Cindy every time I'd go, maybe sometimes twice. When I got there and before I left, he would play it again, and he. He, I finally got it one day after about six months maybe of trying, and he finally did say, he said, I think you finally learned that tune the right way. So, <laughs> so maybe we won't wreck it, or maybe I won't wreck it. Of tunes I reckon we could do if I had my paper out here I could <laughs> look at it but I guess we could play a little bit of Sugar Hill oh, I guess, yeah. maybe. Yes. Well, and I don't think there's any rule against please dancing. Go. No. Please and that yeah please dance. Yeah please dance. We would we would feel a lot better if you did. Yeah I ain't as calm as y'all think I am. <laughs> Yeah, it, I, I still get, you would think, playing as much as we used to play, not real recent, but anyway, that you would get used to not being nervous, but 
Uh, every place I've ever been, I reckon I've got nervous until I play a few tunes. And uh, sometimes I'm nervous on that last tune I play too. I don't know, you know what, I, I know what causes feeling. it. But anyway, I'm nervous I ain't gonna be in tune or you know make a big old mess or something, you know. But uh, she mentioned the radio station a while ago. Well, I played at that radio station. It's real near, real close to our house. Uh, and like I said, I've been playing 48 years, and I played at that radio station the first year that I learned to play. And I have played there every year, sometimes once or twice a year, ever since. Live, live shows. And uh, back when I first started playing, they used to record all the programs. And I don't think they do that now, but anyway, they did back then. And one Christmas, uh, it was a real bad snowy day on a Saturday, and they couldn't get no live people there. So they went back in the archives and got some stuff out that people had been there like ourselves and, and played some tunes. And it, it, I just happened to have the radio on and it had been 30 years since uh, I had played and it was real good to know that, that I still played the same tunes 30 years later <laughs> as I did and I sounded the same. I hadn't gotten no, no worse, but I hadn't got any better. I, I, I still played the same. Uh, and since was trying to think of a tune, uh, I remember one of the tunes was uh, Johnny's Gone to War, so we'll play oh, that one. Johnny's Gone to War. <laughs> so much i think we got time to do one more for you do want to let you know that we all got some cds out there there's slayton mountain rambler cds i believe that you all got yeah. two or three yeah. and um and then the group i play with the south carolina broadcasters we got some cds out there as well and hope that you'll join richard for his workshop tomorrow or i think i'm doing a banjo workshop and just uh don't miss anything going on here, and I guess it's time that we all uh, put our hands over our hearts and face tops, and we'll play you the national anthem of Surrey County to close things out. <laughs>
very much. All right, we're going we're gonna to try a little bit of the Lost John. Uh, I think most everybody plays this tune back home, I guess, in Acord, don't they? Maybe. Oh, Hangman's Reel is that one. Okay. But anyway, I learned this tune from Thornton Spencer, and I don't play it nothing like he plays it. Uh, he, now, you talk about a crooked tune. <laughs> when, when Thornton played it, he, he just, uh, it was like a barrel of fish hooks, I reckon, that's just a crooked. But anyway, I squared it up a little bit so I could play it. A little bit of Lost John.
must have been the devil that pulled me here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, I'm all down and out. Back home, I'll never do wrong. Told the farmer 
You don't need no fun machine I'll eat up all of your cotton Can't buy no gasoline Yonder comes a spider crawling up and down the wall. He must have been gone. Get his ashes home. I don't see no water, but I'm about to drown. Oh, I don't see no fire, but I'm burning down. Better treat me right I'll eat up all your cotton Sleeping on green rays tonight Well, thank you all for the very generous welcome. It's always nice to have an audience that applauds. Um, my boyfriend's whole family is here, so keep it up. <laughs> I have a lot riding on this show, you guys. Well, some of those are known to you, I'm sure, and some of them are not. That first one was called Tangle Eye Blues. Came from a guy named Tangle Eye. Um, recorded by Alan Lomax at the Parchman State Penitentiary back in the day. And I actually just recorded it for something, which you will hear about in the near future. Um, so get excited for that. Uh, the second one was called Bull Weevil, and it came from Tommy Gerald, uh, which I feel embarrassed to play a tune like that after Richard Bowman was just up here talking about learning tunes from Tommy Gerald in his house but I'm just gonna be doing that all night. Um, great to follow a performance like that. Like, I learned this from a recording, woo! <laughs> great to be a millennial. They were all dead, I couldn't help it. <laughs> anyway, here's another tune from a dead guy. with laughter My throat is deep with song You do not think I suffer after I've held my pain so long Dancing, you do not hear my inner cry. Cause my mouth is white with laughter. You do not know I die.
Cause my mouth is wide with laughter My throat is deep with song You do not think I suffer after I've held my pain so long Thank you. Well, that was actually two tunes by two dead guys that I put together um, because the tune is called Roused About and it comes from a fellow named Josh Thomas from Hollins, Virginia. And um, I learned to play it and then my manager was like, dude, you already recorded a song called Roused About. You can't, you can't have another Roused About. And I was like, are you sure? Um, Mike Seeger did it, so it's fine. He was like, are you Mike Seeger? Uh, <laughs> so that was sort of Josh Thomas's roustabout, but uh, I actually discovered a poem by Langston Hughes that had the exact same meter uh, as the lyrics to, to Josh Thomas's version of the song. So I decided to throw those two together and see what came out. Um, for this next one, I'm going to invite my good friend Evie Layden up here. So Evie, Evie Layden is actually the first person uh, ever to have asked me to play fiddle on their album. Uh, and I got to play this next tune that we're going to play on uh, her album, Riding the Rooster. Um, you're going to have that tomorrow? I have it right now. Evie has it right now. <laughs> well, this tune comes from Mr. William Adams, about whom you have already heard who lived about 20 minutes from where I grew up, actually, and probably about 40 minutes from where you grew up. He was local for both of us. Uh, so this is our, our regional fiddle tune heritage. It's called Wild Horse at Stony Point. Maybe, actually, Will Adams didn't know the name of the tune, um, but it sounds like a tune called Wild Horse at Stony Point, so we're rolling with it. All right, one, two, three. Thank you. 
you. Evie Layton, everybody. And this next one comes from a woman named Annie Gracehorn Dodson, who I think was from Alabama. And it's called, I Wonder Where Is My Brother Gone? And I sort of mixed it up with a, what was originally John Riley the Shepherd, and is no longer that. I was told in no uncertain terms by a friend and mentor of mine that I can no longer call it that. So this is, I Wonder Where Is My Brother Gone? Wake up, wake up, darling Corey 
What makes you sleep so sound? The revenue officers are coming, they're gonna tear your still house down. Well, the first time I seen Dolan Corey, he was sitting on the banks of the sea. With a 44 wrapped around his body and a banjo on his knee. In a pine log shack in the mountains, well, that's where my Corey dwells. He brews the finest corn liquor Oh, and what he don't drink, he sells When you come to town next Monday Won't you bring me a jug of five? When that sun comes up on Tuesday morning Well, I may not be alive Well, the last time I seen darling Corey, he was bending through them weeds. With two government men behind him, they're gonna grab him for his deeds. Get up, get up, darling Corey, go get me my knife and my gun. I ain't never been a man for fighting, but I'll die before I run. Can't you hear them bluebirds are singing? Can't you hear that lonesome sound? They're preaching Don Corey's funeral and some lonesome graveyard ground. Dig a hole, dig a hole in the meadow. Dig a hole in the cold, cold ground. Dig a hole, dig a hole in the meadow I'm gonna lay my darling Corey down I got just a couple more for you. Uh, one that I'm gonna invite uh, my friends, the Slate Mountain Ramblers, back to to have a little party up here. But before that, uh, I have a total downer. <laughs> well, I felt weird returning to to playing gigs, to traveling around, and kind of felt a lot of pressure to act like nothing happened, um, or like I'm just so glad to be back doing this, which I am. But it's more complicated than that. There was no way I was just gonna like run back to being in rooms full of dozens or hundreds of people and feel totally okay about it after what we all just went through and what we're still going through. Um, things are still bad right now and I am grateful to all of you here for being vaccinated. <laughs> and I got sick last spring, thankfully not too sick, but sick for a long time. And it's, it's a lot to be a previously completely healthy 25 year old and all of a sudden be sick for a month and a half. And at that point, not know what the course of the disease would be, not really know that long COVID was a thing. And that at that point, you're probably not in that much acute danger. I was like a solid month and a half of wondering if I was gonna die tomorrow. And, uh, I couldn't do this song for a while, but I'm getting back to it because I think a lot of people are, are losing track of, <laughs> of what's really happening uh, and how many people are losing people right now and how many kids are in danger in schools right now and had to say something.
And am I born to die? To lay this body down And must my trembling spirit fly Into a world unknown And must my trembling spirit Soon as from earth I go, what will become of me? Eternal happiness, oh, must then my portion be? A land of deepest shade, unpierced by human thought, a dreary region of the dead, where Wake by the trumpet sound I from my grave shall rise And see the judge with glory crowned And see the
Well, I'm now going to utterly embarrass myself by attempting to play a round peak tune with Richard Bowman. So many thanks to Susie Thompson and to everyone else at the Berkeley Old Time Music Convention for having me and for putting together a really inclusive and awesome program. A lot of people learned to talk the talk this year, and I feel like y'all are many steps ahead of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> if I sound like that, it's whatever. <laughs> Shot him in the head with my 44 this morning. Bullfrog jumped from bank to bank this morning. Bullfrog jumped from bank to bank this morning. Bullfrog jumped from bank to bank, fell in the water and he sank, he sank this morning. Dice and have your fun this morning. Roll your dice and have your fun this morning. Roll your dice, have your fun. Run like the devil when the police come this morning. Got a little something ain't gonna tell this morning. Got a little something ain't gonna tell this morning. Got a little something ain't gonna tell. Wanna go to heaven in a coconut shell this morning. Police come, didn't wanna go this morning. Police come, didn't wanna go this morning. Police come, didn't wanna go. Shot him in the head with my 44 this morning Thank you to the Slave Mountain Ramblers. Thank you to Susie Thompson. Thank you.
Ivy Shepard, Barbara Bowman, Jake Blunt. Thanks so much, Jake. Susie Thompson, everybody. Yeah.